we are making meat from stem cells, growing meat outside of the body of animals, uh, taking stem cells, let them proliferate, make meat out of them, and then hopefully one day we will eat it. We take a biopsy, a little piece of muscle from a cow, um, that contains stem cells. Our muscle contains stem cells as well, waiting there for an injury to happen and to repair the muscle. So they can divide, you can make from one cell about the equivalent of 10 tons of meat. Um, we can take those stem cells out, let them divide, um, make little muscles out of them. And the neat thing about these cells is that they do much of that work by themselves. Um, and then combine it for the moment into processed meat, such as a hamburger. Not many people know that the demand for meat is going to increase worldwide in the next 40 years by a factor two. So twice as many people will start eating meat. Um, and currently we're already using 70% of all our land to produce the meat that we have. So we now know that livestock is actually uh, responsible for 20% of our greenhouse emission. Um, so ecologically it also makes sense to come up with alternatives for livestock meat production. Well, first of all, meat is going to become very, very expensive if the demand sort of outweighs the uh, production. So it will, only, it will be a luxury food only for the happy few. And also, what I'm afraid of is that it will even increase the, the pressure on crops more towards meat production and less crops will be available to directly feed the world populations. And this will not happen overnight. This will take 20, 30 years. And I think farmers and meat growers or livestock producers um, gradually will adapt to a situation um, that will exist 30 years from now where all of our meat may come from um, cultured processes. Basically, um, going from a proof of concept that we are going to show in November, hopefully, to a more sort of industrial process towards scaling up, making it more efficient. We need a whole lot of um, research and resources, technological advances to, to make that happen at a larger scale.